we're talking about Star Wars. Yes, 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 yes. I love Star Wars. As you might notice by my Star Wars shirt and my Star Wars poster, canvas rather. Now, let me say something before we even get talking about the box set. I love the prequels. I don't care what any piece of shit says. I love the prequels. I don't care. I do. Yes, episode two has its stumbles, but episode six had its stumbles as well. Let's be honest, okay? I skipped through that first bit. It's pretty boring and pretty shit, but then the rest of it's really good. So, in episode one, Jar Jar Binks was for the kids. Jar Jar Binks made me laugh as a child. Doesn't make me laugh anymore, but if I ever show a kid Star Wars, it makes that kid laugh. So let's stop being neckbeards here. In episode three, everyone can agree, episode three is amazing. Okay, I love the original trilogy as well, but the prequels are good. Yes, they have their issues, but let's be real. All the Star Wars movies have their issues. I've always loved Lucas's six Star Wars movies in spite of their utter failings at times, including what's in the original trilogy, okay? That is not the holy grail people make it out to be. I'm gonna make a lot of enemies with this video. Damn, damn. They're, like, I've always loved them in spite of their problems because the stories are so good, okay? So, now with that out of the way, let's talk about the box set. What I really love, first off, is it just, it's one of those slipcover ones, you know? It's nothing fancy, but the, the nice thing is that this will get worn out, yeah? But this will stay pristine. Now, I have to admit, sometimes I'm, I'm a bit of a weird cookie. I'm a bit of a weird cookie looky. <laughs> so, this packaging on the outside you're seeing is usually on the inside, but I like it because it shows all six movies on the outside. And then the inside is more like, um, well, it's basically identical. It's basically identical to this, but on, yeah. So I flipped it around because that's how I like it. But th this is actually so amazing. It's one of the, even though it is so like, like it doesn't look like anything special, right? Like that much. It's got the six movies on Blu-ray, you know, like woo, flippy, flippy, flu, flippy, flippy, through, you know. <laughs> There is a lot of effort put into this thing. There's this guide to the galaxy thing, as it's called. It tells you where everything is on the disc. And yes, I know that a lot of things have those, but okay, are they called guide to the galaxy? Do they have awesome art at the same time? And do they have Emperor Palpatine right here in front of that Vader? <sighs> now, Star Wars has always been one of my favorite franchises of all time. It speaks to me on such Profound levels. Again, that's why I love the movies, in spite of their shittiness at times, if we're being totally honest, you know? They really just had a clear vision. One to six, not seven to nine. If you like those movies, that's fine, but I hate them. They are everything that one to six wasn't, in terms of one to six was Lucas's vision, his independent vision. I may have gone too far in a few places. Seven to nine was just, Hey, ad-lib this trilogy, I guess. Let, we'll make money anyway, right guys? Yep. Oh, they fly now! They fly now? They fly now! Oh. The, the thing that I can say most about this box set is that every single movie looks beautiful in Blu-ray. Even the old ones, you know? Sometimes old movies put onto Blu-ray are lazy rescans that look like garbage. And okay, yes, some of the special edition changes are not great. And that's a pretty obvious in 1080p, but you know, you live through it, don't you? You, have, you just live through it, it's what it is. And also, if I might get on my soapbox again, some of the special edition changes are great. Like the extra windows in Empire Strikes Back on Cloud City. Or I don't know, how about the fact that the, the, the Ewok celebration at the end is so much better, giving a much better scope of the galaxy and a much better piece of music that fits much better with all six movies. So yes, the special editions, eh, 
but they're also pretty good at times. They've made some good choices and they made some bad choices. They're mostly an eyesore in episode four and after that it's kind of just whatever, you know, there's some annoying things here and there, you know? That's how I see it. And the special features in this are pretty good. Navigating them is really annoying and a pain. I won't lie, that is one of the big negatives. Is navigating the special features is a pain. It, it's a pain, I, like, but once you get into them, mm, dude, oh. What can I say, really? 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 Amazing, that, that's what I can say, honestly, honestly. And they've got some cool documentaries on there as well, not just special features for the movie. Like I watched this amazing documentary for, for, uh, they're like this charity group called the Fiber First Legion and they do charity things for free. Well, that's why it's charity, I guess. <laughs> but they do charity things for free, like in Star Wars costumes and stuff. And dude, that shit was emotional, man. I, oh my gosh, there's some great shit in here. I, if you're a Star Wars fan, this is a must buy. A must buy, because not only is it a great midpoint for people who don't have a shit ton of money to be throwing around, but it gives you pretty much everything you want in that midpoint as well, just with slightly less fancy packaging. You still get the nine discs, you know, you still get all the special features and whatnot. It's just slightly less fancy packaging and the packaging already is quite badass if you don't if you ask me so <laughs> must buy thank you so much for watching discord link in the description twitch link in the description and twitter link in the description and i will see you in the next video Brrrr.